Alright, hello my Flimican family. So, I know I said we were going to try to fight our first boss today. What I actually want to do, now that I have our mining helmet, so it actually gives us light without having to use a torch, I would like to do a, a tiny bit more exploring underground as well as um, building our underworld evader because I'm pretty sure we're pretty close to actually being able to uh, get some good stuff just gotta make it through this ice biome and then we'll be uh, smooth sailing Obviously struggling on that aspect, we are going to run over, make a better boss arena, and then we'll wait the day out, we'll do something during the day, and then wait until nighttime and we will um, try it. But actually, in order to make our boss arena we want... We want some platforms. So 37 probably actually isn't enough. So let's grab some wood. That should be fine. Probably won't have to make it more than that fun stuff. Let's see. And then I'm trying to think of what good weapons would even be. So snowball cannon, I actually Can that make snowballs. Yes, yes I can. And it does ten. Hmm. <laughs> I'm debating whether that would be uh, worth it or not. I mean, 10 really is pretty good. I wonder if this actually does 18, because it does 10 from the snowball cannon itself, and then 8 from the snowball. Fifteen. Drops off quite a bit. 19? Yeah, so it must do 18. Well then maybe a bow is still the better way to go. Here we got a little worm. Can be used for fishing. But snowballs are relatively cheap, so... I'm not sure how to feel. So we want a lot more for it. Land in order to uh, fight the Eye of Cthulhu, which is going to be our first boss. So, yeah, that is uh, what we got planned now. to grab campfire and get any of the potions that we might be able to and I can't do any there is some I don't know if you guys have noticed but there's some heart statues that you can get through finding the abandoned mine shafts and everything like that or the mining miners housing Start 
We'll go to the Crimson and we're gonna see just what we can do if we can get any special items from it quick before we actually try anything. Because I just want to get to 400 health before we face I of Cthulhu, which is the first boss. But my plan is essentially to just some platforms that I can run left to right on, and then I would also like to have ropes intertwined in them. So then we can just pretty much go literally anywhere that we want, especially because we don't have a double jump yet. But maybe we might run down and explore a little bit more to potentially get the double jump. I can't believe with how many gold chests we found that we haven't gotten any. Also, there is a uh, there's a desert biome like a pyramid that unfortunately isn't guaranteed to spawn. There's only a chance that it spawns, and it didn't spawn in this world. But there's a vital double jump if you want to get a good. Uh, a triple jump essentially. In order to get a triple jump, you need to get all the single like double jumps, if that makes any sense. And right now we don't have any double jumps. We can go all if we want. Yeah. I think that's the gist of what I'm trying to say. So essentially I may need to create another world and you know obviously with you guys create another world and then on the other world just try to explore see if we can 
can find the third type of double jump. Alright, so here's Crimson. Let us go to the actual... second boss will spawn, which we don't have any interest in yet. We got most of our inventory up. Let's see. I'm amazed we haven't had uh, the traveling merchants much or at all. Look at how close this crimson is. It's remarkable. The traveling merchant will actually, it's a random NPC that'll just walk around. It doesn't need a house or anything like that. But he sells pretty good loot. Maybe we'll get that. Get that to occur. Here we go. I actually have a block top for some reason. Because we have to climb. Oh, goodness. Some luck. 
pretty please? I'll pay you. That's cool. This one's the inside of iron. What's on the left there? Anything? Hey, look at this. Life crystal. Double jump! Hey! Look at this, you guys. Cry enough and you will receive. Alright. So what this blizzard in a bottle actually does? Check it out. Yo! And we got actually another enchanted sword. Remember when I said uh, it's the first time I ever saw one? I was being serious, so I can't believe that uh, I get two in the same world. Anyway, so blizzard in a bottle. Jump, and I can double jump. Look at that. Oh, I'm so excited. Dang, I was hoping for uh, one with some kind of... Yo, and there's another miners thing. Disable that trap first. You guys. We're so lucky. Somehow. And another life crystal. This is exactly what we need. And now. Ah. Alright, well, that was a bummer. Ice cream. Uh -huh -huh. Okay, where's this pressure plate? Is it right there? Yes, it is. Not that we'd ever touch it, but I'd rather be safe than sorry. Got 240 health now instead of just 220. And actually, 260. Come on. Oh, dude. How much health do you have? Seven. Where are you getting him? Good deal. Mm. And the best part is, is I can use the double jump to save ourselves from fall damage. So if I drop it too far distance, I can uh, press space again. And jump the second time. I shouldn't say it, but it resets the fall meter, if you will. Anything down there? Good. Hey, look at this. This sword is so wonderful. Can a chandelier be lit underwater? Yes, it can. Because Terraria, brother. I'm going to stay to the left here so I can move. Good deal. Hey! Oh, you guys. So now this ice mirror, I don't know if you guys have been talking about the magic mirror. So the ice mirror is the same thing. And there's another one if you saw the wooden. Goodness, me oh my. 
glad we went to discover the, uh, the crimson. Anyway, so let me show you that. So ice mirror, gaze in the mirror to return home. It's the recall potions, but it's infinite. Pretty much infinite recall potions. So yeah, pretty sweet stuff. If you ask me, got a cyan beetle and I juke the ice bath. machine that's neat boreal wood don't need that don't need that don't need those because we're starting to get regular healing potions instead of minor healing potions and that should be plenty and actually let's get rid of <laughs> let's get rid of 13 torches that's not relevant pig on statue all right, should probably return home, huh? Being that our inventory is full, full. Let's check. I would like just one more. Uh, life crystal? What do you guys think? Should we keep going for one more life crystal? Being that I don't get a response right now, I'm gonna say yeah. We are gonna go for one more life crystal. We are bad boys. Not sure why I said that can be weird now. But I'll have to show you the ice here. indicated by the marble right there. So we're actually gonna open up this to see if we can uh, see if maybe there's topaz that's more important than the uh, small tungsten axe but then I have to make another axe. This shouldn't be this hard you guys. I don't need one dynamite, do I? Yo, look at the brown. Traveling merchant? They're not traveling merchant, sell merchant. I can sell them stuff. What do I want to sell them? Bone arrow, bone torch, spelunker glow stick. Do I want to sell them anything? Let's uh, sort inventory. I do actually want to sell them both of these ice blades because we have an ice blade at home. I think two of them actually. Chanted sword, I don't want to sell them. Statues, don't want to sell them. Yeah, yeah that's good. <laughs> So now we're gonna run down here, and we're gonna go to that marble biome. Marble biomes are super cool, in my opinion, because you get marble. They're hard because they have a mob called Medusa. Not a good time, especially in expert mode. So we are going to. Uh, Need to be cautious. All right, I guess this marble box is just uh, tiny. Man, I am let down for the second time during this uh, 
on this world. Generally, marble and granite biomes are going to have a chest room, but neither of the ones that we have encountered have. Alright, we're just gonna explore a little more. If we don't find anything, then. See, look at this guy. Look at this guy. He throws javelins. <laughs> it's a bad time. But actually, I would like a javelin. Let's give it its fall gel. And I don't know if you guys saw, but there is a uh, javelin guy down here as well. And up there. Spooky stuff. Oh, I guess he somehow got up there. He's on that, but. Teleporting hoplite. Everything other than dynamite and ice boomerang. I'm actually going to uh, do this. Good. Kind of just want to get the spear because then. Let's get rid of vertebrae. It's not relevant. Um, don't need glow sticks that bad. Dynamite, we already threw one away. <laughs> so, what's the harm in throwing another one away, right? Here we got some sapphires. We need sapphires. Ugh, I feel like I'm just throwing everything away. Let's get rid of cobwebs. I feel like we're not going to get. Uh, crystal life crystal. So let's regret regrettably wow English. Regrettably go home. And so there we used our ice mirror instead of a recall potion. So pretty cool stuff here in this episode. Got quite a bit more health, so that's good. Let's see. Let's organize our inventory real quick. Look at all the new stuff we got. Alright, so I would say that was productive. I am going to... Uh, I don't know what I'm going to. I would like to be able to fight Aya Cthulhu. I just, I don't feel confident right now. Hmm. So many statues. Snow blocks, that belongs in soft blocks. Marble belongs in hard blocks. But I think that was actually really good as far as discovery goes. That's as far down as we've made it. Period. So that's pretty cool. Because here is our underworld abater. So much ice biome. I want regular biome. So where can we go? Where can we go? Should we go over here next episode to try to find some non-ice biome chests? What do you guys think? I think that's what we're gonna do. Got three boomerangs. I don't need a snowball cannon. Right? For this stuff. Let's get all of our ammo to the right here. Platforms. Alright. So yeah, but with all of that being said, I uh, appreciate all of you guys for checking it out. Seeing what it was all about. I think we did pretty well today, all in all. I just want to be able to get to the boss sooner rather than later, but also if I rush it, I'm just going to end up dying to it, and I'd rather not do that repeatedly. So yeah, thanks a lot you guys, and uh, if you liked it, feel free to hit the like button, subscribe, let me know any questions that you had about anything that went on, and I will see you guys in the next video.